Hi everyone, this is Teacher Jane of Teach Talk, where learning is fun and easy. If this is your first time watching our videos, don't forget to subscribe and click that bell button so you'll get notified on our next videos. Welcome to Shensha Amazing! Kung saan pag-uusapan natin ang mga science concepts from grade 7 to grade 12, kasamang topics in general science, biology, chemistry, physics, and earth science. At dito, Bidangagham! Using a device called stethoscope, your physician would always check on your breathing and heartbeat when you have your regular checkup. This amazing device helps your physician to determine the conditions of the lungs and the heart through sounds. It also helps in diagnosing your vital signs which assess the basic functions of the body. Kung naaalala ninyo, nagkaroon tayo ng video sa digestive system. And we discussed that the food digested by our body is needed to produce the energy necessary for our daily activities. To use this food and convert it into energy, kailangan natin ng oxygen. Paano magkakaroon ng oxygen ng ating katawan? Simple, through the process of respiration carried out by the respiratory system. We will be starting our discussions on Grade 9 Science. Today's Shensha Amazing episode will be talking about the respiratory system. Ito ang mga parts ng ating respiratory system. To discuss their functions, we are going to join this oxygen molecule in its path toward our body. Air enters the body through the openings of our nose, known as the nostrils. Our nose is lined with hair and mucus that filter, warm, and moisten the air that enters the body. Tumutulong ito para maging malinis ang hangin na pumapasok sa ating katawan. In addition to that, the mucus in our nose and nasal cavity moistens the air to keep other respiratory organs from drying. From the nose, the air continues its journey to the pharynx. The pharynx is also known as the throat. It is a muscular pipe that connects the nose and mouth to the larynx and esophagus. Let's have another trivia! Ang food pipe o esophagus ay makikita natin sa digestive system, habang ang windpipe o ang trachea ay makikita naman sa respiratory system. Kahit magkakatabi ang mga organs na ito, hindi sila nagkakaroon ng conflict. Bakit hindi napupuntang pagkain sa lungs? This is because of a small flap of tissue called epiglottis. It acts like a switch that closes the esophagus so that air will enter the windpipe into the respiratory system and food will enter the esophagus into the digestive system. Bumubukas ito tuwing tayo ay humihinga or when we are breathing and it closes o sumasara naman ito tuwing tayo ay kumakain or when we are swallowing. This is to prevent food from entering into the windpipe and to our lungs. Going back to our respiratory system, we are currently on the pharynx. After the pharynx, air molecules pass through the larynx. It is just a short airway that connects the pharynx to the windpipe. It is also known as the voice box because it contains vocal cords that allow the body to produce sounds. The cords will vibrate and together with the mouth and the tongue, we can produce sounds. At the end of the larynx is a 12.7 cm tube known as the trachea or windpipe. The walls of the trachea have ring structures to keep it open. It is lined with tissue 
containing cilia or hair to trap dust and contaminants and prevent them from reaching our lungs. Yung mga dust particles na hindi na filter ng nasal cavity ay nadadakip ng mucus ng trachea. These are removed when we clear our throat or when we cough. These particles are removed when we clear our throat or when we cough. In the chest cavity, the trachea or the windpipe is divided into two branches known as the bronchi. Air will enter into either bronchus since both are connected to the lungs. In addition to that, each bronchus is further divided into many small tubes known as bronchioles. And in each end of the bronchioles are air sacs. Air sacs are also known as alveoli or alveolus. They are surrounded with capillaries where gas exchange happens. Ano ang main purpose ng air sacs? They serve to increase the respiratory efficiency by providing a large surface for gas exchange. In this way, we can take in a large amount of oxygen and release a large amount of carbon dioxide which are wastes in our body. These processes are all housed in our lungs because they are the major respiratory organs of the respiratory system. They are a pair of large spongy organs found in the chest cavity. Breathing is a mechanical process wherein air goes in and out of the lungs because of air pressure difference. The motion of air going into and out of the lungs is caused by the action of the diaphragm, a tough muscle sheet that separates the chest cavity from the abdominal cavity and muscles between the ribs. In this animation, we can see the diaphragm as the red muscle below our lungs. During inhalation, or when we breathe in air, the diaphragm contracts and becomes flat and pulls down the bottom of your chest in order to maximize our air intake. On the other hand, during exhalation, the muscles of the diaphragm relax. The diaphragm will curve and rise, making the chest cavity shrink in order to expel air out of our lungs. To reduce the friction during inhalation and exhalation, our lungs are covered with a moist tissue known as pleura. It acts as a lubricant and allows the lungs to move easily inside the chest cavity while breathing. Before we have a short quiz, let's have a quick recap of what we have covered in today's Shensha Amazing episode. In this Shensha Amazing episode, we talked about the respiratory system. Moreover, we discussed its parts, the functions of each part as air travels from our nose to our lungs, and we also discussed about the epiglottis, which is a small flap of tissue that opens and closes to avoid food from entering our lungs. Lastly, we talked about the process of inhalation and exhalation. It's good time! Let's check if you really learned something in our Shensha Amazing episode about the respiratory system. I'm going to give you 3 minutes to answer this short quiz. After 3 minutes, to check natin kung tama mga sagot nyo at kung ano ang score nyo.
Time's up. Let's check if your answers are correct. Number one, the lungs are covered with a moist tissue that helps reduce friction. Ang tanong dito, ano ang tawag sa moist tissue that covers our lungs? If your answer is pleura, you are correct. Number two, a tough muscle sheet that contracts or relaxes in inhalation or exhalation. Our major clue is that it is a muscle sheet and since it is a muscle, it contracts or relaxes. The answer here is diaphragm. Number three. Air sacs where gas exchange happens. What's the other term for air sacs? It is alveoli. Number four. It is also known as the windpipe that traps dust from entering the lungs. In the beginning of inhalation, air is usually filtered by the nasal cavity. But some dust particles escape the nasal cavity. And therefore, they are filtered in the trachea or windpipe. Last number, number 5, a structure that has vocal cords that can produce sound. This is just a short airway after the pharynx and to the trachea. This is the larynx or voice box. That ends our 5 item quiz. Please comment your score in the comment section below so that we can check how well you did in our quiz. That ends our Shansh Amazing episode for today. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and share this video to your friends so that we can learn together. Bye!